Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel, Learning Videos. Few days back, uh, a person named Surya had commented this. He had asked me to write a Python code to find the radius of curvature of x square plus y square equal to 25 at 3 comma 4. So here is the code. So first, I'm going to import SymPy module. That is, from SymPy, import star. Then I'm declaring x and y as variable. Since our question has x and y as two different variables, so I'm defining x, comma y equal to variable. So from now, x and y will be considered as uh, uh, considered as variable for mathematical expressions. So now, here you can see I'm declaring a variable called as a. And here I'm making x square star stars 2 means x raised to 2 that is x square plus y square minus 25 so this 25 i'm uh, getting it on the left hand side so this turns out to be minus 25 so now first thing i'm going to differentiate so here we need to uh, we cannot do normal differentiation we need to do implicit differentiation so how to do that i'm creating a variable called as y1 equal to i d i f f so this is the method that we can use for implicit uh, differentiation so now here i need to pass the variable a on which i'm doing that differentiation comma with respect to y and with respect to x so we are differentiating this with respect to x so now that value value will be printed over here that is i'm printing that value of y1 next i'm creating one more variable called as y2 again i'm calling out idiff method so here again i am passing a the variable y and x and i am differentiating it for two times so we require uh, one time differentiation and two time difference so that is why i'm differentiating it for two times and next on the line number eight i'm going to print it so now here i'm declaring a variable called as x underscore value y underscore value so that is three and four which is given in the question so i need to find the radius of curvature of this equation at three and four so that i'm storing it in value x underscore val as three and y underscore val as 4. Next, I'm uh, defining a variable called as t, and I'm substituting the value of x and y in the equation that we have gotten y1. So that is y1 dot substitute. I'm passing the value of x as 3 and y as 4. Same process, I'm carrying it out on y2 as well. So y2 dot substitute x3 value x x as value 3 and y as value 4 i'm substituting it y2 and that value i'm storing it in t2 so now we know that how to calculate the radius of curvature this is the formula that is 1 plus t square raised to 3 by 2 divided by absolute value of t2 so if i run this so this is the general formula if i run according to this so let us see what uh, value we are getting Yes, you can see this fine. So this is my radius of curvature. Phi is my radius of curvature. So now, if I don't insert this absolute value, you can see what happens. You can see I'm getting negative phi. So radius cannot be in terms of negative. So that is why you need to uh, you need to use absolute value. Okay. So this was the code to find the radius of curvature of this equation. Thank you guys. And if you have understood something, please hit the like button. And if you are new to this channel, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you guys. Bye then. Have a good day.